fact, it's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Tonight, we start week 14 with a great Thursday night matchup between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Los Angeles Rams. And off we go from SoFi Stadium. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. Side. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Franks. He'll let this go for the end zone. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. Throwing again, Frank's on second and ten. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He hits Adams complain. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. On first down, here's Franks. Throw left side complete. That's Carter. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a game of seven. Now a second down throw. Here's Franks. Dance into his left. J.J. Artega Whiteside, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Raiders are on the board first on the road here in L.A. And his kick is good, but flags come in. Looks like we're going to get a roughing call here on the follow-through. And that flag accepted. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll begin on the ground with Akers. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Off the fake to Akers. Here's Stafford. That's into the hands of 2-2 Atwell. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. 
A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them, they're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing in too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And a throw there, going to be incomplete. Nice job there, forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game, watching him try to take away that area of the field. Tight end in motion right. They snap it to Stafford. And he fires one that's intercepted. And they have the football that will take over at the 24-yard line. Charles, that makes now five interceptions and not even five quarters. Remember, he threw four picks last week. And this turns into a tough situation because a lot of fans, the first thing is, oh, well, we need to change quarterbacks. This is your guy. This is your elite player. You can't just take him out like that. If I'm the coach, I make a little joke and say, you know some big guy? We're going to change the football. So it's obvious that's the problem. It's not you. Keep firing. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Now Franks. Looking deep for Adams. They've got his man complete. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. On first and ten, Franks. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. So from inside the 20, here's first and ten at the 18. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. That's going to be caught by Carter for a Las Vegas touchdown. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Raiders have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. And that is off the left upright. It's no good. There to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Now a play fake it at Stafford. That's out to the flat for Akers. And he's got some space here. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, L.A. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards and just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence is right there. And his top speed is computed by Next Gen Stats. 21.6 miles per hour. Now after the touchdown, ready to boot it away, Riley Dixon. This is taken just shy of the 10. The Raider 
offense set to get this drive started. And they come off a victory over the weekend, but now the quick turnaround here for this Thursday night game. How does that affect how teams like this approach these short turnarounds? Well, wins and losses always factor into you know, how you're getting ready for the next game. But the play is important when you have the short turnaround. What is your injury situation? Are you losing key guys? And if so, how well have the backups prepared for this? Because you don't have much time to get them ready. They have to be ready before this week in order to play well in this game. We need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Franks now. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Rams are going to take possession of the football. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. They'll run here with Akers. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Cam Akers with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Rams strike quickly here to tie up the ball game. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And with it, his guys take the lead here by a point. Now after the touchdown, ready to boot it away, Riley Dixon. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. As the offense comes out here, Charles, uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one. I think that's a good way to look at it and a good way to think about it, but maybe they get to it in a little bit different way because after you throw an interception, you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high. So maybe give him a couple easy throws that he can complete and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah, and still in the first half here, a long way to go. Off the play fake, here's Franks. Fighting to stay upright. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. It's J.J. Watt, and the Rams are going to take possession of the football. A few things better than a big man interception. You can always tell right when they get the football, there's that level of excitement and nervousness and also, like, what the heck do I do with this thing? <laughs> and you say, no better sight? Well, not for the quarterback who just threw it. It's bad enough to throw a pick, but to throw one to the big guy? But you're right about that. Now what do I do with it? But what's fun about it is you know they're going to be in the film room after this ball game. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Another try after the first down sack. Stafford, a quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Stafford. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. 
That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? He said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll go out of bounds after getting this across the 15. So a little breathing room now. First and 10 at the 17. The Franks looking to throw. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Looking to throw. Franks. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The pressure really ratcheting up. They get the sack on first down and a near sack. They got to him there just as it was leaving his hand. Yeah, they might need to change their pass protection scheme a little bit. Maybe bring another guy into the backfield to help protect the quarterback. Because that was awfully close. It'll be a pickup of 16, but they'll remain short of the marker and it's fourth down. Try and throw for it here. Got a man. It's Schwartz complete. And he is going to have a Raiders first down as this defense cannot come up with a play that they need. In fact, they surrender a big chunk. 17 yards there on fourth down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A couple of first downs have them to the 40 now on first and 10. They send Carter in motion right. Looking deep downfield. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. John Johnson with the INT. Boy, so another interception, CD, and it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now... His head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. It's the Pro Bowler Chandler Jones who makes the tackle. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Going right back to Akers. And that won't buy him much room. Just a one-yard gain to the five. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Well, Stafford. And Stafford's going to be taken down. That's a safety. No, when we think about big swings and scores before a half, we think offense, but this time, their defense made the play. Instant pressure off the snap, and they weren't going to let him find a way to escape. So they take the flag and the yardage that comes with it. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. And they go play action with Franks. And he will find his man Schwartz. That's complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. On first down, Abdullah. J.J. Watt the one that gets him down. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Second down, Franks. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. 
In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. They'll run here. Abdullah. And he is going to have the Raiders first down. It won't be by much. He needed three, and he got three, barely. But the mark shows first down. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. The kick by Carlson is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Rams set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail here as we resume play. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now he's getting the ball to start the second half. How about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Throwing a Stafford. And incomplete on the deep ball. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. On fourth down, Stafford. That's complete to John Ross. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Stafford looks to throw again. Now that'll be caught by Cup. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. And this is caught at the 20. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. This will be caught just inside the 10. From the 9, second and 5. They'll go with Akers here up the middle. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Akers. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Rolling to his right. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. They'll try to run it in. It's Williams. Four yards, that gets him close to the goal line, but it also brings up a fourth and goal. They run, it's Williams. And nowhere to go. He's going to be stopped behind the line. Williams can't punch it in on fourth and goal. And the Raiders hang tough down near the goal line. And 
they begin the drive with a duel. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Setting up play action, Franks. He'll find Schwartz complete right side. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth. When the ball's arriving and there's a defender there, he just comes down with the ball. He competes and takes it away. Great hands, great ability to finish the catch. Franks. And it's complete to Adams. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams' 44-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. to throw. Franks. And this one is incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Throwing again. Franks on second and ten. Over the middle. That's caught by Schwartz. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. A first down throw. Here's Franks. And that's complete to Adams. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. They'll roll him out right. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. They certainly thought they had him surrounded and probably thought they were going to get him on the ground and get the sack, but he was able to elude that. And even though he threw it incomplete downfield, if you're a defensive back... And this is caught! Touchdown, Raiders! J.J. Artega Whiteside with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Raiders are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. They'll try and throw for it. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Anthony Barr. And nothing but daylight ahead. He's at the 40. 20, 10, 5, and he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as that play backfires in a big way. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. We'll see a return here from the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Rams take over first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. There's still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. In just a one-possession game, down eight. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two-point conversion. A field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage. 44 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. First 
Off the fake to Akers. Here's Stafford out to his left. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, I think we were both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one-possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Back to throw, Stafford. He's going to have the hook up to Ross. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 48-yard line. Here's Stafford, flush to his right. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. To the air again, Stafford. That's caught left side. It's Higby, the tight end. And they've got this down to about the 12 yard line. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Stafford now to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Ross. From the four, it's second and a couple. Now it's Stafford. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Cam Akers from four yards out. And the Rams have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Stafford's going to try and throw for it. He rifles one that's intercepted. He's at the 50. The 30. 10, and he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as that play backfires in a big way. Well, there's some excitement, right? Go for two, and instead it gets picked off. And how about the return? Give him a lot of credit, though, for not giving up after the play. Yeah, the troops rally. Exactly, and getting back there and making the tackle and not giving up two points themselves. This is taken just shy of the 10. The Raiders take over a first and 10 at their own 21 yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, but with the four-minute offense, is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from you. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first down, here's Franks. He completes it to Abdullah. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. Working out of the gun, Franks. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late round pick right there, making a first round impact in a lot of these day three corners. They end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's shedding the tackle and it gives him some room. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Cam Akers. 46 yards. And the Rams have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And that gives him a three-point lead. Now after 
after the touchdown, ready to boot it away. Riley Dixon. Taking it about the one. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing to battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here. And that's intercepted yet again, and that could be the backbreaker. Picked up by the linebacker, Miles Jack. And the Rams are going to take possession of the football. And you have to wonder, Charles, a game like this, five interceptions, what does this do to the psyche of a young quarterback? Well, based on the fact that he's still out there and he threw a fifth interception, I'm wondering if his head coach believes that he's really strong mentally and wants him to play through it. Because otherwise, you need to get him out and fight another day because this could leave lasting damage if he keeps throwing interceptions. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. 110 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome. Put a little whipped cream on top to their ending. As our friends in Bayou country would say, that's a little lanyap, a little extra on top.